Welcome to this video. In this video, we will try to understand what are the differences between a Docker file and Docker Compose. They are uh, related to each other, but they are somewhat different also. So sometimes people do get confused between Docker file and Docker Compose. And I'm sure after watching this video, you will have everything clear. What is the purpose of each of them? So let's begin. Let's not waste time. And here we are. So Dockerfile and Docker Compose are two essential tools in the Docker ecosystem, but they serve different purpose and are used together to streamline containerized application deployment. In the coming section, we will see how exactly they are related and how are they different. So a Docker file here you can see is a script that defines how exactly a container or what all packages should be included. So there are a series of instructions to build a Docker image. It defines how a container image is created, including the base image, dependencies, configuration files, and the applications to run. Here, if you see, in this Docker file, we are using a base image for Python and with the version specifically mentioned. Then we are defining a working directory under which we are going to do rest of the activities. Here we are copying the requirements.txt file where we define what exactly is needed to run this container whenever it is needed in future. And here run pip install. So this is going to install all the requirements which are mentioned in this file. And then we will copy those requirements in the working directory. And then we will use a CMD command. So here actually we are running the package. So whatever script or file or whatever we are trying to run, that is something is going to be executed here. So this is how a Docker file is defined. Now what Docker file does, it builds a custom Docker image. So we already have Docker images available in Docker Hub, but sometimes we want to create our own Docker image. The images which are available on Docker Hub, they are not sufficient. They do not provide all the use cases and we want to customize it. So if we want to customize it, we take a base file. On top of that, we include our own commands, like we want to run something, we want to expose something, we want to uh, change directory or put something in the directory, and then we define the exact environment of the container. When we have to use it, if we want to reuse the same image again and again, it's always better to create a Docker image instead of doing the customization later on. And then for customizing the environment for the applications. Now if we come to Docker Compose and we see how exactly it is defined. Docker Compose is a tool for defining and running multi-container Docker applications. It uses a YAML file uh, to define services, networks, volumes. Now here is the YAML file and let's try to understand what exactly it is mm -hmm. doing. So here we are defining the version. Here we are de defining the Docker file. So the Docker file which we created earlier is being defined here. So Docker file and we can provide the version also. So let's say we created version one, then we made some changes, then we created version two, version three. So we can always refer the version here. So Docker file colon latest or colon 1.1 or 1.2. That is how we define the version also. Then we define on what port this is going to run and listen and then what will be the volume which is being used. So when Docker runs, if we want to expose some files and mount from external sources, so we can define here volumes, then we can define environments. And if we want to add more images in that, so let's say we want to use a custom Docker file here and then we want to use a Postgres image from already created. That is a standard image which is already available on Docker Hub. So then that can also be defined. So which means within one Docker Compose, we can run multiple images also. So one image or one Docker file is here, another image is here, and then we can define the rest of the variables. So this is going to define a runtime setup. Now, here we are trying to orchestrate multiple containers. So using Docker Compose, we can run the same Docker image 10 times, 20 times, 30 times. So we can orchestrate multiple containers. We can define services dependencies and shared resources, simplify running and scaling the container with Docker Compose up or down. We can support additional services, linking the services, create network, etc. So that kind of configuration can be done in Docker Compose. 
we have to use it when we want to run a multi container application and for local development testing purpose or creating a distributed system so that's where docker compose is going to be used i hope you already know that docker file is used to create a docker image and docker compose is to run instances of using that image so that's that's how they are different now it is building a single docker image it is using this docker image and orchestrating multi container apps this is docker file and this is docker compose.yml file it defines the container image like what exactly we want to do within that image what packages are included and here it is defined how that is going to run so here we are creating something and using docker compose we are running something this is the focus on single container and this is focus on multiple container with their dependencies also and the commands here are docker build docker run and here docker compose up or down to start or stop the instances now i hope you understand how exactly they are working together how they are different we are creating a docker file to define how application is going to run docker compose to orchestrate multiple containers multiple instances of the same docker image and that's how they work together if you have liked it do subscribe now we are going to jump into the real time example sections where we are going to see how exactly they are working together so do hit the subscribe button let's help to grow also and let's help to uh, keep the learning path going on in future also so let's come here and let's see the real example how exactly it is working so within this docker folder you can see that we have these many files docker file is there registry is there uh applicator corporate python file is there where we have put all the logic now if we cat this file you can see how exactly what packages are being used uh how exactly it is going to be run what is the logic in that so all that is defined in this python files then if we go into next stage and we try to run py we can see what exactly it is doing now the same thing we have to run within a docker also within within a docker image so as it is working here you can see we use wget command it is exposing some services and we can access those services so all that has to be done from within the docker file or docker image which is running as an instance when we run it as docker compose or docker build something like that so docker file is created something like that let's use this python base image this is the file and directory these are different commands which we are going to follow so all the instruction how exactly things should be set up that is defined within the docker file now let's try to build docker build here we are trying to build docker image which is going to be ultimately called using docker compose docker image is something which we can upload on docker hub or other kind of repository so you can see that the docker image has been built once docker image is built and we can see the list of docker images using the docker image ls command and then it can be run using docker run or docker compose or it can be uploaded on docker hub and then it can be so this is the running instance using docker ps we can choose and see the running instances etc so that's how all it is connected and that's how all of it works hope it helped and you are now clear what exactly is a docker file and what is docker compose and if it is it has helped do subscribe bye take care